Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. We're going to have a fun show today. Um, the Zone posts another outstanding number. They lose uh, $2.3 billion. That's it. Just the $2.3 billion. Uh, before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Um all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. It's completely dedicated to the channel is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Uh, so please like share and subscribe to that channel as well. Um, so I, I want to get right into this. Um, Cause this is getting out of control. So this is for 2021, uh, 2021 numbers are reported at the end of 2022 in the UK. Okay. Um, the zone sustain. I'll explain the difference. The difference is real simple. An operating loss of 1.36 billion in 2021. An overall loss of 2.3 billion, uh, according to a report published uh, by Bloomberg uh, on Wednesday. <clears throat> All right, so what's the difference? Because that's almost a billion dollar difference. Uh, uh, the, the operating loss is the difference between, and I'll explain, what your gross profits are against uh, what your gross revenue is against your gross expenses. Okay, so they spent 1.36 billion more than they. Bought in. Um, the overall loss includes taxes. So somewhere they paid another nine hundred and forty million dollars in taxes. Is that possible, guys? In the UK, well, if you have a business that that, that loses one point three six billion, can you pay another nine hundred million and change in taxes? It seems extraordinary, but that's the difference. That's the, the difference in those two numbers. Um, that so first off. A business exists on two pieces of paper. One that's revenue, one that's expenses. Expenses. When the expenses is bigger than the revenue, you don't have a business. You have a loser. And that's what we have here. Um, so they, they, they're going to take these losses here. They're going to you know write these losses off. Uh, and, and Len Bladnick, the owner of, of the zone, well, I guess, yeah, he's, he's the owner, right? And then, um, what, what, what's it? Shay Segev runs it. He's the CEO. But Blavnik is the, is, is the financial backer. He's got it to lose. It's worth about $30 billion. But how, I mean, how much of that do you really want to lose in, in one end over? You know, so we got a couple of things here. Either this is money laundering. They're just putting money in here to lose, to to. To, to, to wash it and put it somewhere else. That's a possibility, although it's a big operation for that. So then there's another option. The books are cooked, and these numbers are completely fraudulent. <laughs> don't, don't let a tax attorney look at this, right? Don't, 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 don't let the, I don't know what the equivalent to the IRS is in England, but don't let them look too deep into this because that that's that's a – they've lost $6 billion since 2016, right? We, in the U.S., we really only know them to be around since 2018, but it's been around since 2016. And, and in that time, they've lost $6 billion, and it gets worse and worse. They've lost 70% more money this year than last year. It's, it, it's a billion-dollar loser. This is like the, the, the U.S. national uh, debt. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. At a certain point, a business needs to make money. If the business doesn't make money, then the, there's no longer a business. I mean, guys, this isn't difficult. So either, I mean, they, they, there's basically three options here. One, they're losing money hand over fist, and they're not going to be a business much longer. That's one. Two, it's just money laundering for something else, so they don't care what it actually shows on paper, right? Like, you, you could write it off as a loss and then just take that money and put it in another business, right? It could be a money laundering thing. I, I'm not saying it is. It's entirely illegal, it could be, I don't know, or or three, 
the books are entirely cooked, uh, and that's not their actual numbers. I don't know which of the three it actually is. Now they're going to say they have you know, they, they brought licensing rights. Um, most of this comes in soccer. They brought Italy, Italian, and, and German soccer league rights, and and that's why they lost money this year. But they lost money last year. They lost money the year before. The year before. At what point do you start losing money? Right, like if you have a big healthy income and, and, and you buy some expenses and maybe I lost money this year, but I've made money every other year. So, you know, yes, I lost money this year, but I have all these other years that I made money, which kind of covers that nut. They don't have that. They lose money every single year. They're up to losing six billion dollars, six billion dollars in one business. I, I don't care how much money you have. If you lose six billion dollars in one business in and in, in this is five years. 2.3 and one 2.3 billion in one year. At, at a certain point, there's an issue here. You don't become a billionaire by losing billions every year. I, I don't know the tax code in England. I, I, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't follow. So I, I this just doesn't add up, right? I mean Either it's just completely fraudulent, like I said, and the books are cooked, and those aren't their actual numbers. It's just, you know, you know, it's like a mafiosa bookkeeping, you know. I, I don't know. Um, those are the real numbers, and they're in trouble. Or those are the real numbers, and it's just it's just a cover. It's just a cover for something else. They're just moving that money somewhere else, you know. It's it's it's, it's a loss to the business A, but a profit in business B. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's just... Those are the three options, but if if it's real and they're actually losing this much money, there's no not going to be around. Like it's just you know they're doing well in the sense that they're generating a lot of business, but when you're spending this much to generate that, you know, you're not even close. You're not even in the ballpark. You 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 and I get it. there are tech companies in the U.S. Phillips based in Atlanta. Is known for this. They've been around 50 years. They've never made a profit. So, I mean, the, the, the books are cooked here. I, I don't know what, what all their expenses are. You know, we could really dig down and look into it. But you're losing $2.3 billion a year. And, and from a boxing perspective, you know, the zone really, they, they're charging us more than ever. And in the U.S., it's a boxing app. That's what it is. Yeah, there's some people who buy it for the soccer. Okay. Largely, it's a boxing app. And now they want to charge you $20 a month for a boxing app that gives you like two fights a year, two fights a month, and then makes you pay for Canelo. They're going to have to figure out something else if they want to keep a U.S. share. Because A, there's the boxing market, the fan base in the U.S. isn't big enough. Okay, And B, your pricing is outrageous. When you're ha- ha- hemorrhaging money, when you have a loss, you don't increase prices because you make your product less attractive. You have to lower the price. Then when you get a really, really attractive uh, product to offer, then you can slowly raise your prices. They don't have that. Like I love the idea of the zone, but they don't have a really attractive product right now. Not not to the U.S. fan. I'm not talking about the Italy and, and, and Germany and other places. I'm strictly talking to the U.S. right now. Why am I talking to the U.S.? Because the U.S. has 350 million people, okay? It has 350. I, I know the zone is big in, in Germany. I, I get that. Germany has, what, 80 million people? 83 million people. And Italy, I have family in Italy, has less than 60 million people. So, so the U.S. is, you know, six times the size of, Italy and, um, you know, four and a half times, four times the size of Germany. So that's why it, it's important not to lay an egg in the U.S., which is kind of what the zone is doing. And and to charge more money each month will work. And the content gets worse and worse. You can't even argue it's not getting worse because they used to give you Canelo fights included. Now they don't. Now they want 20 bucks a month instead of 10. They want 20 bucks instead of 10. And they want to charge you fifty dollars a month or fifty dollars for the two times Canelo fights. So instead of you know having it for a hundred dollars a year, which it was originally, now it's one hundred and fifty plus fifty plus fifty, so two fifty. So it's increased uh, in price two hundred and fifty percent in a couple of years for a worse product. 
There's no question the product is worse, and they want to charge you two, 250% more. Do you see how that's not going to work, guys? It wasn't underpriced. If you look at the ESPN zone, uh, the ESPN app, what is it, six bucks a month? It's a far better app. It's far better. It is way better. It, there's so much more on that app than there is on the zone for a fraction of the price. I'm not making this up. The ESPN app is objectively better. There's more stuff on it. There's documentaries. There's more live sports, right? The only reason why you had the zone is for boxing in the U.S. That's it. There's no other reason to have it. You get boxing on the ESPN app and you get a million other things. You don't get any of it with the zone and it's way more expensive. Why would you buy it? It would be the first one you drop because the box is not even that good and you still have to pay for the Canelo fights. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if these numbers are real, the zone's in a world of trouble. A world of trouble. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Box and 3D Box and Blog on all forms of social media. Uh, it is, And also, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, all proceeds from that town go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is January 13th, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.